Hey guys, it's DC and welcome to the Soap Sanctuary where all soap lovers are welcome. Uh, as you can see, there's no intro. This is just a quick impromptu video um, based as a follow-up to my uh, amazing interview that I had with Fido Xavier, uh, General Hospital Director Fido Xavier. Um, as you guys know, I've been off uh, for a while, the past two weeks. I, went, I was at Bahamas. I was, the first two weeks I was doing a lot. I was here, I was there, I was in the Bahamas, came back. Which is my usual schedule on this channel. I feel like I feel like I'm two weeks on, two weeks off, or I'm one week on and then two weeks off. You know, kind of just uh, that's my way of keeping myself balanced to do this channel. That's my way of keeping myself balanced. Um, I want to say that in terms of doing this interview, I've kind of learned, and this is just what things I've been learning in my life recently is how alignment is a big thing for me. Alignment, um, because honestly. I remember having a convo with Albert, Albert Bostick. If any of you guys aren't subscribed to his channel, definitely take a look. Um, I remember talking with Albert weeks ago, and he asked me, we were on the question of interviews, like we were talking about interviews, and then he said to me, would you ever do an interview? And I was like, mm, I don't know, it would have to come to me. And I remember him giving me this look like, how the hell is it supposed to just come to you? <laughs> Like, you know, how, how is that gonna work? There's gotta be something you have to do. Because I was just telling, I was like, man, I think I have to go, like, because I, I was thinking in my mind that I might have to go on social media to make it happen, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so I told him, I was like, I, I wasn't sure. I don't know, I just wasn't sure for a lot of reasons. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'll ever do an interview. Cause I, honestly, that was never in my radar, my thought process, you know? And I remember the General Hospital Top Three Villains uh, video that we did. We got a comment from Vito on there. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. I took a screenshot of it, sent this to Albert. I was like, how cool is that? We got you know, a comment from one of the directors of General Hospital, how cool is that? And it didn't really click with me until like a couple of days later, I was like, you just got a comment on your YouTube video from one of the directors of General Hospital. Uh, hello. <laughs> so my mom was like, well, I wonder, what if you would do like an interview with me, right? And then my mom was like, you know, if he commented, if he likes the channel, you know, he might do an interview. You know, the worst he could say is no. So my mom was like, you know, how am I going to contact this guy? Because I don't have social media. It's like, how am I going to make that happen? So anyways, I found a way to contact him. And I was kind of nervous. But I was like, okay, the worst he could just say is no. You know, and I want to say within 24 hours later, he got back to me. And he was like, yeah, let's set it up. And I was like, okay, bet. <laughs> It was just completely seamless, honestly. Like, even when I was doing an interview with him, I honestly forgot that I was doing an interview with someone because I was just so into it. And I quickly had to realize that, hey, DC, you're doing an interview, you know, like, you, you don't want this to go on for two, three hours. Like, you know what I'm saying? Gotta be mindful of that. Because I was just so into it and I was learning so much in the interview, honestly. And it was kind of cool interviewing. Like, even when we, when I first got in contact with him, I reached out to him, like, and we were messaging. Like, even just from his words, I was like, oh, this is some good energy here. This is some good energy. I feel like this is gonna be a good, good interview. It's gonna be some good energy here. And I just felt it. I was like, this is gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? Because his energy was right. You can see in the interview, like he was just really engaging. And I, and I just, and I really liked that, honestly. I think that made it my first interview a lot more easier. Cause I was nervous, guys. I was super nervous. I was like, oh my God, you know? And the thing about it is that I got to learn a lot from him. Like as I was in the interview with him, so like I said, it was just, it was seamless. And after I had set up that time for us to do an interview, I was just looking online to learn more and I found out that 104 gh had recently done an interview with him. I was like, oh my God, it's so cool. I was like, okay. God in the universe is aligning things for me. Now, I watched their interview with him, but I only watched the first 10 minutes and the last 10 minutes of their interview that they had with Fido because I didn't want to ask any of the same questions and I wanted to make sure like there was no, like, how to explain, like no, I just wanna make sure I ask my own questions in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Make sure the interview was my own, if that makes sense. So, but that, but I did wanna watch the first and last time it's an interview just to get an idea, because this is my first interview. I mean, I watched a lot of JLJ Media, a lot of 104GH's interview like they had with Ken Schreiner. So I, I felt, even Alan Locker, I watched, I've been watching a lot of his interviews, but this is my first interview on this channel. And I wasn't even coming for this. I wasn't even trying to opt for this. You know what I'm saying? It's an opportunity, but I'm really happy that I got it, honestly. So that was kind of cool. And you know, who knows? Maybe Frank Valentini may be next on the list. He is one of the, I think one of the greatest EPs GH has had. One of, one of GH's greatest EPs. Um, and you know, the thing about it is for me is like, like I said, like 
when I was talking about Albert, I was like, mm, I don't know if I'll do a sub interview. I was like, eh, if it comes, if it happens, you know, because I'm a big person. Like, I don't like forcing things. I really don't like to force things. I like things to just come naturally, honestly. I just find things easier that way. Even for, you know, my businesses that I have, there's a reason why I still keep a part-time job. Right, because that way I would not be desperate to just take on every single client that comes my way. Because oh my God, the the business is all I have to make money. Like I didn't, I don't want to put that kind of pressure on myself. You know what I'm saying? And so when I look at it that way, like, cause even sometimes in business I'll get calls from from potential clients saying like, oh, you know, the bank can do this for free, but we just want to see you can do what your rates are. When I get those kind of voicemails, I don't call them back. I'm just keeping it real. I don't call them back. Those type of voices, I don't be calling them back. Because I was like, I see what type of time you're on. But, you know, thinking about this interview with Fido, like just being able to just do this and just how fun it was having this conversation. So this was a really cool experience. I really did not expect this, this opportunity. So like I said, when he made that comment on our, one, of our, one of my videos, which was a collab I did with, uh, with Albert, it didn't sink in with me a couple of days later. Like a director of General Hospital just commenting on your video. Like, this is... Like, you know, how I was saying, like, it has to come to me. I was like, okay, like, it, it, it's in my pathway now, you know? And obviously, there's some type of action I have to take on my part, which was, like, kind of trying to figure out a way how to, how to reach out to him. That was not social media, which is funny because I feel like when I had the Soap Sanctuary Twitter, I, I feel like I wanted to do those things, but it didn't, you know? And it's interesting. And then one of my friends who has a podcast called Bravo While Black, you guys can check that out. He said to me, you know, you got to make a social media. You got to, you got to. But I was telling him, I was like, well, you know, Social media didn't get me this interview. <laughs> Which technically, YouTube is a social media in a sense. It's technically a social media um, in a sense. So, but, you know, it, it, when, I, when I get that joke, it makes me think of one of my friends who got her PhD and I said, would you ever change your last name to, you know, your boyfriend's last name and get married? You know, because she got her doctorates and she's like, well, he wasn't in PhD school <laughs> with me. <laughs> so no, you know? But um, honestly, it was a, a great opportunity, and I'm glad I got the chance to be able to do it with him, guys. Because, you know, I was even talking to a friend of mine, and I was like, you know, they were thinking about starting a YouTube channel, like, you know, and they're telling me, you know, hey, you see, I don't have this, I don't have that, I don't have all these different things. And I was like, you know what, just use what you got. Because honestly, something I've learned in life is sometimes it's just never a perfect time. Even when I started my business and stuff, man, I was going through it financially. And I could have easily said this was not the right time to do this, but I'm like, I'm gonna go for it. What do I have left to lose? You know, even when I first started this YouTube channel, I felt like I had my reservation at first. I was like, oh, I don't have the perfect place. I don't have the perfect equipment. I don't have this. And I'm like, sometimes there's just never going to be a right time. Just do it. You know, I think there was one time when I was moving from a different apartment. I had to wait because the moving date was a bit later on the road, later down the line. I was in my mom's house for a while, you know, and I was still filming there. If you notice, that was when I had the blue walls. <laughs> that was when I had the blue walls. I'm just, keep, I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real, you know. And so it's, it's just interesting, you know, in life. So I, I thought it was just kind of cool that I had a chance to, to do this opportunity. I wanted to do this quick reflection video on it. And I was happy that he, you know, he agreed to do it. And, you know, because honestly, I was like, you know, well, he's a director. I don't, I don't know how this is going to go. And, you know, but I was a little bit familiar with his name because obviously I've seen the GH credits and stuff. So, and then just getting to know even more about what he's done and, and you know, the type of work he's done, even on Spider Games, all this different stuff. So it was really cool being able to do that interview for my channel. And you know, on this channel, I'm always doing different things. So it's cool that that's now something else I get to incorporate and hopefully I get to interview him again and some more people from GH and hopefully Valentini, you know? Um, but I mean, this was a really great opportunity. I'm really grateful that I got a chance to have it. Even when I got the chance to like, I think when I made this up Twitter, and Albert reached out to me and we got to do a collab. I was like, oh my God, like this is so cool. Cause I, I, I never expected that happening. You know what I mean? So I'm really grateful for a lot of these opportunities that I get to have on this channel, guys. I don't take it lightly and I appreciate it. I really do appreciate that. So I appreciate that I got the chance to be able to do that and talk with them. You notice I was laughing. I was having the time of my life. There are times I just, I, I forgot that I was even doing um, an interview at that point because I was just having so much fun. I was learning so much. So I just wanted to kind of just give a reflection on that. I was gonna put this on my General Hospital video coming up this week, but I was like, nah, I think this deserves its own separate video with that. Um, for this week, I may only just be doing, I think in terms of reviews, Scheme Psalm, Beyond Salem, and B&B. &B. 
Um, I, I feel like that video can serve as my general hospital video for the week. Plus, I don't feel like nothing really much happened on GH this week for me to really report on, in a sense. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like much happened. So, I, I don't know. But I also have some top five videos coming up. Uh, I'm not going to shoot all that out on the weekend. I think the top fives, I'll save them for later on in the midweek because I'm pretty much done filming those. Um, and some other stuff and some other content I have coming up, guys. But I just want to thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. Thank you guys for rocking with me, you know, for the time that it's been. Um, and I just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm really grateful that I got the chance to have the opportunity. That's kind of cool. So I remember telling my mom that. I was like, hey, I, 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 I'm interviewing one of the directors of General Hospital. You know, this is a soap that she loved, the Luke and Laura days, you know? So it was, it was cool. It was cool. It was a really great opportunity. And I'm kind of glad that it just happened the way it was. See, God in the universe just aligns things naturally. I just don't like forcing things. I'm a big person on that. Because I, I don't know, I feel like in the past when I forced a lot of things, they didn't really work for me. You know? I tried to force anything. Business, money, relationships. I, I really tried not to force anything. And I'm kind of happy. See, and that didn't even come from social media. See, and, I was, and I, that's why I didn't like when I was on social Twitter. I felt like I was forcing so much. And like now things just seem a lot more uh, effortless, in a sense. And don't get me wrong, there is some type of action you have to take when something comes in your path, but I just allow those things to come into my path first. So I'm always open and receptive to divine and limited ideas. I'm always open and willing, but um, you know, I like those things to come into my path first and now and I'll make that action. You know, I make that action, so. Um, but I don't know, guys, I'm just really grateful. I hope this video doesn't go over like 10 minutes. It probably might, it might go into 15. Um, Cause you know, I talk a lot. So. Like I said, I'm just, I'm really grateful for that. And I'm really grateful that he just came on and did it with me. And I don't know, like to just know that I'm a year down to YouTube when I've got my first interview, that was kind of cool. I didn't even see that coming. I really not. I, honestly, when I, when I reached out to him, I was like, let the cards, <laughs> let the, let the, let the, what does it say? Let the, let the, what does it say? Let the cards fall where they may? No. Let the chips fall where they may. I was like, let the chips just fall where they may. And let's just see what happens. You know? And I, and I didn't even think about it after that. I think after that, I ordered a pizza. Domino's. Um, pan pizza, preferably pan pizza. Some of you guys who don't like Domino's, you can just hop off right now. I don't, I don't need this type of discrimination, this prejudice on here. Just hop off. If you're not a Domino's fan, just hop off. But no, in all seriousness, guys, though, I was really grateful for this opportunity, and just glad that I got the chance to do it. Um, just really grateful about that. So that's it. I'm not gonna go off on a tangent on that. That's pretty much it for the reflection video. Um, with uh, Fido, if you haven't watched, like I said, go ahead and watch that first before you watch this video. If you made this far of the video, you probably <laughs> doesn't matter more at this point, right? But um, watch that video, guys. Definitely comment what you think. I uh, just thank you guys for your support. I remember I got a comment from, I think it was Ethel. She commented. She's like, oh my God, I'm so anxious. I just love your content. I was like, I love comments like that. I, I just love it. I love it. So anyways, guys, that's my quick uh, reflection video. And this has been Soap Sanctuary.